Now, limit test for iron, Fe. Here, limit test for iron is performed on ammoniacal solution of iron. Ammonia, ammoniacal solution of iron with thioglycolic acid, with thioglycolic acid in presence of citric acid. And what it will form? It will form iron thioglycolate or ferrous thioglycolate sample. Uh, sorry, ferrous thioglycolate complex. Now what happens here? Which produces pale pink to deep reddish or sometimes purple color in alkaline media. So remember reaction of Fe2 plus ferrous. Ferrous means Fe2 plus, ferric means Fe3 plus. So here it should be in a Fe2 plus form. So reaction of Fe2 plus with thioglycolic acid, with thioglycolic acid and that will form ferrous thioglycolate, ferrous Fe2 plus, ferrous thioglycolate complex. But all this procedure is to be performed in alkaline media and because of that only ammoniacal solution is prepared then it will produce pink to purple color. So what is common procedure? First of all sample is dissolved in water and volume is make up then what is added? Citric acid is added. Citric acid is added then thioglycolic acid is added then ammonia is added to make it alkaline and then it is set aside or kept aside for color to be developed and then that color is compared with the standard solution of iron which is prepared in a prescribed manner so very simple which are the reagents sample citric acid thioglycolic acid and ammonia so now what is the role of each reagent? So as we said, it contains the color is given in alkaline media. So to provide alkaline media, what is added? Ammonia. To provide alkaline media, what is added is ammonia. Now what is drawback of ammonia? Adding ammonia, ammonia can form precipitation of iron. Ammonia can form precipitation of iron. So to avoid precipitation of iron, to prevent the precipitation of iron, what is added is citric acid. What is added is citric acid. How it will prevent the precipitation? Citric acid will make a complex with metal cation. So that is clear. Alkaline media because of ammonia. Then it, it forms the precipitate. So to avoid the precipitate, what is added is citric acid. Now, what is the role of thioglycolic acid? As we said, it's a, it forms ferrous thioglycolate complex. So, ferrous thioglycolate complex for that Fe2 plus form is required. So, this ferrous thioglycolic acid also helps to reduce Fe3 plus to Fe2 plus. And because of that, the color is produced in alkaline media. So alkaline media is necessary because in acidic media, in acidic media, it is decomposed. That ferrous thioglycolate complex is decomposed. So here, these are the role of each reagent in limit test of iron. Now, what is the question? Thioglycolic acid is used in limit test for arsenic, lead, iron or chloride, arsenic, lead, iron or chloride, then the correct answer is in thioglycolic acid. Sometimes you may be asked that what is the role of thioglycolic acid in limit test of iron. 